Same story, different day for Florida State football. Not only did we wake up on Sunday to a still winless team, we also got to experience our first 0-3 team in 45 years. It's tough to see any sort of light at the end of this long, dark tunnel. And Mike Norvell not sugarcoating anything in his post-game press conference on Saturday. His team expects better out of themselves, and for the results not to show up on the field, it's just an added blow to this already struggling group. You know, it's disappointing. I mean, just to see the, the, the types of mistakes that showed up. I mean, that, those are the things I was, I was hopeful to, to see corrected. And, you know, the emphasis of them, uh, you know, all the things that we're trying to do to, to get that eliminated, uh, for, it not to, for it not to apply, um, you know, it's just disappointing. I and mean, we got to continue to coach and correct all. And, uh, you know, but we're going to, we're, we're going to get it right. We're going to continue to work at it. Florida State returns home on Saturday to square off with Louisville. Kickoff is at 3.30. Valdosta State fans, and they're a little happier on Sunday after the third-ranked Blazers took care of Albany State in a game that didn't start till about 9.30 and didn't end until about 1 a.m. So let's run through what we missed while most of you were in bed. It was a 7-3 VSU lead coming out of halftime, but Ivory Durham wants to change that. Under six to play in the third, he throws an absolute beauty to Leandre Gallimore. Makes it 14-3. Then in the fourth, how about a little State Farm? Durham looking, finds an open Brian Sons. He's going to make a few moves, gets to the edge, breaks free, and sneaks in for a touchdown. Makes it 21-3, and we'll call that insurance, baby. The Blazers defense keeping the Golden Rams in check, so that would be your final. Valdosta State improves to 3 and 0 after outscoring their opponents a whopping 125 to 17 in their first 3 games of the year. All three units, offense, defense, special teams, and we've been playing great complementary football. And even tonight, you know, we're going to have games where we need our defense to bow their necks and, and get off the field and create turnovers, and they, they did that tonight. You know, we had a few blunders in special teams tonight. We got a fix. Uh, obviously, I, I think the snap, I don't know if it's real high, but obviously the ball was wet when it was raining. Um, so we gave up that block there. And then, you know, offense has scored when they had to right there. So, um, you know, is it perfect? No, but I do think we have some a, a great complimentary football right now. All three phases are helping the other ones win these games. Valdosta State will go on a bye week before returning to Baysmore Hyder on October 2nd to face Shorter. Stay with us. One last look. Your forecast is coming up after the break.